Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a hack on how to layer glitter iron on vinyl. You should not layer glitter iron on vinyl directly on top of glitter iron on vinyl. So I'm going to show you a way to get around that. And I love how beautiful the glitter looks on these shirts. Also, please subscribe if you're new. It's completely free and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. I post one video a week and let's just get into the video. The first thing I'm going to do is upload my SVGs. So I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to select both of these. And I bought these off of Etsy and I will link that down below if you're interested in that. And then I'll select insert images. And the first thing I want to do is this pink bow has two layers and I decided I wanted to just weld it together. So I am going to hit weld and I'm just going to make it one image. And then I just want to change this to a different color so I can see it. And this bow is going to be uh, pink vinyl so I'm just going to change it to pink. So that looks good and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and size it on top of the Mickey shadow head. So let's see. Okay, so that looks good. And then I'm going to select both of these and I want to hit align center horizontally to get the bow centered right in the middle. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click select text and I'm going to type in my oh, I'm going to type in my daughter's name. And then I'm going to go up to font and I am going to select Waltograph. I believe, yep, Waltograph, which is like the Disney font. And then I also just want to move these letters a little closer together. So I'm just going to move them a little closer. And this I seems like it's spaced out weird with the N to me. So I'm actually going to ungroup this. And then I'm just going to move the letters in a little bit. Just kind of how I like it. Okay, so I like how that looks. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to select weld. And then I'm just going to zoom back out and I am going to change Quinn to that same pink color. And then I am just going to move um, her name right over the Mickey shadow. Might make it a little bit bigger. And then I also want to center this, so I am going to select Quinn, I'll just select Quinn and the Mickey head, and then I am going to hit align and center horizontally again, and I think that looks good. I might make Quinn just a tiny bit bigger. So I have my Mickey head how I like it, and I want to make each of these pieces glitter vinyl, but the problem with that is you cannot layer glitter iron-on on top of glitter iron-on. So you can see here this bow is right on top of the Mickey head. If you move it, it's right on top of that, and you don't want to do that because it won't adhere, to well, adhere well, and um, I think it'll just peel off pretty easily. So Cricut recommends not to layer glitter iron on vinyl on top of glitter iron on vinyl. So to get around that, I'm actually going to slice these pieces so then we can kind of piece them together instead of laying them, layering them directly on top of each other. So to do this, the first thing I want to do is size my image. So I'm going to select this whole thing and I want it to be five and a half inches, which is pretty much what it's set to, but I'm just going to change it to five and a half inches and then after that I want to duplicate the bow and Quinn. So I'm going to select the bow and hit duplicate and I'll just slide it over here and I'll select Quinn and hit duplicate. And then after that I want to slice these pieces and you can only slice two layers at a time so I'm going to start with the bow. I'll select that with the Mickey head. You can see I have two slices selected and then I am going to hit slice. So then I'm going to take these pieces out of here and then I'm just going to delete them. And you can see the bow will fit right inside of the Mickey head. Oops, undo. So I'm going to move the bow out of the way and my Quinn went underneath the Mickey head so I'm just going to right click and hit send to back. 
So now I'm just going to slice both of these. So I'm going to hit Quinn. So you can see that I welded the letters Quinn. If I did not have these welded together, it won't let you slice. So make sure that you have your letters welded together because it makes it one layer. So then I am going to select Quinn and select the Mickey head. You can see I have two layers. I'm going to select slice. And then I'm going to move these out of the way and I'll delete them. So you can see now I'll be able to fit the um, I'll be able to fit Quinn right inside of that piece there. So I'm going to move that out of the way. I have all three of my pieces. So the next thing I want to do is just click on make it. And over here I want to mirror these because these are iron on vinyl. So I'm going to select mirror on both of these. I might move Quinn over a little bit. I always feel like it's kind of hard to cut in between those. Okay, so now what I want to do is select continue. Okay, so now I want to select glitter iron on. I have it set to my favorites, but if you don't, you just click on browse material and um, you can just search for it. But it's really convenient to have materials set to your favorites. So I'm going to select glitter iron on and then I'll show you how on my machine how I make this. I place both of my glitter heat transfer vinyl down on my mat and I have the Cricut machine cut it out. The black glitter vinyl was uh, the Caesar brand and the pink vinyl was Cricut brand. I happen to have two different brands so I just used both of those. This pink glitter iron-on was coming off of the carrier sheet for some reason so I had to use my scraper to stick it down to the mat a little bit better. Here's my pieces cut out and weeded out. You can see how the pink vinyl was coming off of the carrier sheet some, which did make it a little bit more difficult to weed out the letters. For the black Mickey head, you want to weed out the actual letters like I'm doing here. And this is similar to how you would weed out a stencil. And those pink letters are going to be going inside of the Mickey letters that were sliced out. And here you can see how I weeded it out. Next, I lay my shirt on the Cricut Easy Press mat. My Easy Press is set to 330 at 30 seconds, and while it's heating up, I press it over the shirt. Next, I fold my shirt in half and run my Easy Press over it. I love this little trick because it makes it so easy to know where to center the design. I also fold the vinyl in half to find the center of that, and make sure to not fold the sticky side in half. I set the vinyl on my shirt and line it up. Then I place my Easy Press on top of it. I only hold the Easy Press down just for a few seconds, just long enough for the vinyl to stick to the shirt. And you don't want to press for the full 30 seconds because the vinyl can shrink and the pieces won't line up right. Then I take the carrier sheet off. I grab my pink bow and line it up in the cutout section and you want to line it up just right where there's no gaps in it and where it's not overlapping any of the black vinyl. And here's how it looks all lined up. Now I take my parchment paper and you can use Teflon sheets as well and I place it over the vinyl and this will protect the vinyl that isn't covered up by the carrier sheet. And then once again, I place the Easy Press over, over it for maybe two to four seconds, just enough for it to stick to the shirt, and then I take the carrier sheet off. And I just want to say, I'm obsessed with how beautiful this glitter iron-on vinyl looks. Next, I'm going to add Quinn's name. With that pink vinyl moving around so much on the carrier sheet, it wasn't going to work to line up the whole word, so I did, decided to cut out each letter. And I placed two letters down and noticed that the carrier sheets were overlapping and you don't want those to be overlapping. It'll sometimes put a little indentation in the vinyl. So I decided to do each letter separately.
After I'm done adding the letters, I do one final press for the full 30 seconds, and then I turn my shirt over and press on the back for around 15 seconds. And here's how it looks. I am in love with the glitter look. Next, I want to show you how I made one more shirt with layering glitter iron-on. You'll see in Design Space that this SVG already has the pieces cut out. So I'm going to click on Upload, and I'll select my SVG. And I found this SVG off of um, Etsy, so I'll hit Insert Image. Okay, so here's our image, and if you go over to the Layers panel and hit Ungroup, and then when you select this, all of these are uh, grouped together, so you want to click ungroup again. And then when you slide these out, you can see that they are already sliced out. The way that she made this SVG, it looks like everything is already sliced, so you don't even have to do the slicing, um, and it will be all ready to go. So I am going to hit undo, and I'll just bring it back to how it was. So all I'm going to do is select this whole image and then I am going to size it and I'm going to do 5 inches for the width. And then I'm going to click on make it. And then I'm going to select each one and hit mirror. This is iron on vinyl or heat transfer vinyl so you want to mirror all of these. And it separates it by color on the mats. So I'm just going to click mirror, here, and then I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to select glitter iron on. I have my vinyl cut and weeded out and I'm going to show you how I piece these together. It's basically the same way I did for the first shirt, so I will just speed it up so you can see the whole process. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you are new, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos, and I will just see you in my next video.